Hi! Welcome to my channel. Mrs. A here, your Filipino-American online tutor. For those who are new here, I would like to know that I have series of videos for grade 6, 7, 8, and grade 9 mathematics. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is free. Share and like also my videos. Let's get started in today's lesson. Now, you're going to learn about complementary angles and supplementary angles. So here, I have a right angle, and on the other side here, I have a straight angle. So for right angle, we know that the measure of a right angle is 90 degrees. If I am going to uh, have a ray or draw a ray from the same vertex B going there, let's name this point here as point D. So this ray divides the right angle into two angles here. So this indicates here that the measurement is 90 degrees. You know the square like this? Now, if this is 30 degrees, we know that this is 90, therefore the other angle measures 60 degrees. These two angles here, this one and this one are what we call complementary angles. So what do we mean by complementary angles? Complementary angles are two angles that add up to 90 degrees angle. So now I can say that angle ABD, so this angle here, or the measure of angle ABD plus the measure of angle DBC, this one here, is equal to 90 degrees. Okay. Or I can say that angle ABD and angle DBC are complementary angles. Now, on the other side here, I have here a straight angle and we know that the measurement of a straight angle is 180 degrees. So if I'm going to draw a ray from this point up to point Q, now the straight angle, again, is divided into two. Okay? And if this measurement here of this angle POQ is 130, therefore the other one is 50 degrees angle to make it equal to 180. So now, supplementary angles are two angles that add up to 180 degrees. So for 90 degrees, we have complementary angles, while supplementary angles, the total is equal to 180 degrees. So now I can say that angle POQ, so POQ and or plus the measure of angle OQR, O, no, no, not O, sorry. QOR, I thought this is O. So this is QOR. That is equal to 180 degrees. Or angle POQ and angle QOR are supplementary angles. Now, in complementary angles and supplementary angles, it doesn't really necessary that they are side by side. What I mean is, um, just like a while ago, they shared a common side. Here, they can be separated as long that their measurement, the total, is equal to 90 degrees. So 75 degrees and 15 degrees. So these two angles are complementary angles. Well, this one, this is 90 degrees and this is another 90 degrees. So these two angles are supplementary angles. Okay, now let's have some other uh, exercises or questions regarding complementary and supplementary angle. So I have here, find the complement of a 65 degrees angle. So complement, it means we are going to find for the measurement of the other angle that if we're going to 
add that to this given here, it will be equal to 90 degrees. So simply, to get that measurement, that is 90 minus the given angle, which is 65 degrees, and that is equal to 25 degrees. So this is the complement of 65. The complement of 65 degrees angle is 25 degrees. Okay, how about find the supplement of a 105 degrees angle? So again, this uh, this one this time is supplement. We, what is What do we know about supplement? 180, right? Okay, so it means 180 minus 105, and this is equal to 75 degrees. Okay, so here's other questions about complementary or supplementary. What is the complement of a 49 degrees, 20 minutes, 45 seconds angle? Look at this one. Maybe you encountered this the first time. Now, are you familiar where we can find this given? Usually, if you are given a coordinates or location, they give it in DMS. DMS means degree, minutes, and seconds. Okay, so now, we know that this is complementary or complement. It means 90 degrees. So, this angle, the given here, we're going to subtract that to 90 degrees angle. Okay, but we cannot direct, we cannot subtract this directly because we have here minutes and seconds. So what are we going to do is we need to change, we need to convert this 90 degrees angle into minutes and seconds. So now, how are we going to do that? We know that 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes. Okay, remember that 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes. And we know that 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. So what are we going to do is we are going to borrow 1 degree here from 90. So this 90 becomes 89. That's eight becomes 89 degrees. And we have now 60 minutes because that 1 degree is equivalent to 60 minutes or 60 minutes sorry but we need more because we have here seconds so we need to convert again to seconds here we need to borrow again one minute from the 60 minutes to make it one, uh, 60 seconds so therefore we have 89 degrees 60 will get to subtract one minute there so it becomes 59 minutes and that one minute that we borrowed here from 60 minutes it becomes 60 seconds so there we have now the equivalent here so we have 89 degrees 59 minutes and 60 seconds therefore we can subtract now this given here so what are we going to do is just in line this, so 49 should be in degrees and 20 should be in min minutes and 45 should be in seconds. Then subtract. 89 minus 49, that is 40 degrees. And 59 minus 20, that is 39. 9, okay, 5 times 5 minus 2. Okay, so 60 minus 45, that is 15. So this is now the complement of 49 degrees. 20 minutes and 45 degrees angle. So the complement is 40 degrees, 39 minutes, and 15 seconds. Now, let's have another example here. So I have here, find the measure of each angle. So given again here, and you, ha you have this uh, square, it means 90 degrees. It means these two angles, again, are complementary angles. But the given is an algebraic expression. But we know that if we are going to add the measure of this plus this one is equal to 90 degrees. So we can do that. Let's add that. So 2x plus 13 plus x plus 5 is equal to 90 degrees. And then we can just simply combine. 2x plus x, that is equal to 3x. 13 plus 5, that is 18. So we have now 
3x plus 18 is equal to 90 degrees. Now, we need to isolate x. Therefore, we need to subtract 18 on both sides of the equation. So this becomes 0. And we have now 3x on this side. And that is equal to 90 minus 18. That is equal to 72. Again, we need to solve for x. So isolate x divide by 3 both sides of the equation again. So this is 1. So what we have now is x is equal to 72 divided by 3 is 24. Okay, so we have now the value of x which is equal to 24. But we are not done yet. We are going to substitute this value of x in the given here to get for the exact value of the angle. So what we have now, let's start with 2x plus 3. I mean, plus 13. Sorry. So, 2x plus 13. So, it means 2 times 24, the value of x, plus 13. And that is equal to 48 plus 13. 48 plus 13 is equal to 61 degrees. Now, for x plus 5, so, simply 24 plus 5, that is equal to 29. Okay, so if you, you want to check if your answer is correct, 61 plus 29, that is equal to 90 degrees, which is true. Okay, so that's how you're going to find, how you're going to solve, if in case the given is an algebraic expression. Now, we have another given here, number 5. We're going to solve for the value of each angle again. This is 2x plus x. This is very easy. Straight line again or straight angle, it means supplementary. So, this is 2x plus x is equal to 180. Okay, now, this is a straight angle wherein the two angles are called uh, supplementary angles because the total of this is 180 degrees. But at the same time, we can call these two angle, angle here and here, we can call them as linear pair also. A linear pair is a pair of angles that lie next to each other but form a straight line, okay? Form a straight line next to each other but at the same time, form a straight line from the word itself, linear from line. Okay, so now we know that this is supplementary angle so that uh, equal to 180 degrees. So we are going to add so 2x plus x that is 3x is equal to 180 degrees. So we're just going to divide 3 on both sides of the equation to solve for x. So that is now x is equal to 60. That is 180 divided by 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, understood there is 1 here. If, if 1, no need, for, no need for us to write that. So, x is 60. And that is only the measure of x. And that x is the measure of this angle. Which means that that is 60 degrees. And 2 times x, 2 times 60, it means this one is 120 degrees. And the total is 180 degrees. Okay, so we have another one here. This is the last one. Another way of writing our problems about supplementary and complementary. So the ratio of two supplementary angles is 3 is to 7. What is the measure of the smaller angle? Look at this one. So here, we, I have two angles here that are supplementary and the ratio is 3 is to 7. It means this angle is 3x and the other one is 7x. And they are supplementary, therefore, if I'm going to add them, that is equal to 180 degrees. So I have here 3x plus 7x is equal to 180 degrees. And then 3x plus 7x, that is 10x, is equal to 180 degrees. And I'm going to divide both sides by 10 by 10. So therefore, x is equal to 18. Okay? 
So now, multiply this. 3 times 18, that is equal to 54. And then 7 times 18, and that is equal to 126. The total of this is 180 degrees angle. So look at this kind of problem. So there, I gave different given or different problems about supplementary and complementary angles. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share my video, and like if you like it. And also follow my Facebook page, Math A Matic. See you on the next one. Bye!